ship or steer it blind. Spin this compass, take bearings. East, north, south, or maybe west. This thing we've got is meant for sharing. Well, thank you. And first, I just want to, we got to give a hand to the folks, uh, your select board, your ministry management team, your volunteer fire department, the great job they're doing, your municipal employees and highway workers, your town clerk. Everyone has brought all this together, but mostly all the volunteers. Let's give you a hand. Come on, only in more town. <laughs> and listen, we got a message for old Irene. You picked the wrong people. We're Vermonters. We're tough. We stick together. We're communities. We yeah. take care of each other. We're going to get you back and we're going to beat you, right? We're going to rebuild and put this town back the way it was. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I can't tell you how uh, proud I am of you and how proud I am to be the governor of a state where people come together and I hear story after story, but pulling into town, I just heard of a, one of your townspeople who watched his house get washed away, got on the rig, and started clearing the streets for everybody else. That's what's going to get us through this crisis. So story after story, individual after individual, uh, act of bravery act of, after act of bravery, and selflessness that only you would find in a state of Vermont. So I'm just incredibly proud of you. Listen, here's some good news. Uh, it's pretty extraordinary that we've made the progress that we have in four short days. I'm incredibly grateful to President Obama for having granted us the resources that we need to rebuild. This is how it works. For all the folks that just watch their houses get damaged or destroyed, uh, the federal program will qualify you for $30,400, up to $30,400 of outright cash to help you rebuild. That means putting houses back, repairing damage, lost property, hauling rugs to the dry cleaner, in other words, expenses related to cleaning up, whatever it is. Take pictures, record it, keep receipts, and obviously call the FEMA 800 number if you haven't, so they can get an assessor in there to get you that money as fast as possible. Second, you'll also qualify for low interest mortgage money that'll be helpful for those that need more than 30,400, of which there's a lot in this community. For the public assistance, uh, infrastructure, I just talked to your fire chief and your assistant chief are working so hard. You know, when the fire department loses trucks and equipment and infrastructure, that all qualifies for the match that the president's qualified for us for highways, roads, bridges that we're gonna rebuild as fast as we know how. So keep track of it, keep informed, keep FEMA informed, and we'll get those resources to you as fast as possible. In terms of extraction from the brook, uh, we have lifted the usual requirements, basic common sense in Vermont, so that you can go in and take our highways out of the rivers and put them back where they belong. So we're gonna get that done. So uh, we, we've talked to your hardworking select board, all they gotta do is notify the district coordinator where they're digging and go in and dig, and you know, while you're there, dig deep so that uh, we don't get back here next time the storm hits. Uh, and finally, I just want to say, if you need things that you feel you're not getting, call our office. We're manning it seven days a week. We're there for you. And, you know, if it's little things or big things, let us know. Just call the governor's office and we'll get you where you need to go. I just want to tell you a couple of stories to lift your spirits a little bit. 
of some of the stuff I've seen in the last four days. Some of it's, you know the stories in town, it's happening throughout Vermont. Uh, I went into Pittsfield. A woman had lost her home. It was literally wiped down the river, like in Moortown, seven or eight houses in a row, just gone. The land under her house is gone, so she has nowhere to rebuild. Tears are rolling down her face. I gave her a big hug. She said, you know, Governor, I really like having a house. I've lived here all my life. But this community was tight before this happened. Now we're like family, and that means more to me than my house. And I think that basically tells the story of Moortown. So thank you for what you're doing. It's going to require some patience. It's going to get tougher. We know that we're racing the winter clock to get roads rebuilt and reopened. We, I won't rest until we have Vermont put back the way it was before this thing hit, and we'll do it together. And I can't tell you how appreciative I am of all of you, of the folks who came in from out of state to help, of all the resources that are coming together uh, to get this recovery underway. So stick with us, keep hugging each other. We love you, and we're going to get through this together. We're going to be OK. Thank you so much. It, if you have questions, and I want to thank Maxine Grad. I don't know where Maxine went, but she's been uh, relentless in her pursuit of resources for this community. But if you have questions, fire away, and we'll try. Governor, I wondered if the state is planning on doing something um, to help yeah, small businesses uh, yes. other than um, short-term, low-interest low loans. Did you hear the question? The question is, what are you doing for businesses? Here, we want to get the businesses reopened as fast as we can. We got fall foliage. We got all kinds of challenges, huge resources. That's really important to the Valley. So these are the things we're doing. We've implemented a immediate uh, $20,000 loan that you can get through Vita. No payment in the first year, zero. And then you pay the rest back over four years at 1%. We can get that to you faster than the federal government. During the last storm, we got that out literally in 24, 48 hours. So for small business that need the cooler, that need res uh, expenditures right away, go to the Vita website or call our office. We'll get you there. What's the number, Allie? Uh, call 828-3211 and we'll get you what you need. Second, with the declaration that we've just received from the president, businesses are going to qualify for hundreds of thousands of dollars of low interest loan money. Between those two resources, we should be able to get back on our feet as, as fast as possible. We're also, by the way, uh, raising money for, to help fill the gap for Vermonters or businesses that need resources that we can't get them to these programs. If you know of anyone who wants to be generous, just go to one, dial 1-800-VERMONT. And uh, we've got a fund set up to help us uh, get resources from people that can afford to give money at this time. Other questions, concerns, thoughts? Yes. Uh, Efficiency Vermont, I know, is making some effort to accommodate flood victims. And the protocols, though, they normally have to go through are quite a bit different than what FEMA might think. I think there's a real opportunity here, not only to tighten up the house, but to uh, maybe, at least for the flood victims, change the protocols so that what they do, what the documentation for FEMA can be the same for efficiency for and open up the contents of the protocols. Great suggestion. We'll, uh, we'll put that on a list of things to do. Get a single claims form, basically, so that we can move it faster. Other ideas, questions, thoughts? Hey, call us if you need us. Keep up the great work. We'll get there. We're going to be OK, I think. Thanks. Appreciate it.